This video will introduce you to the basics of simple harmonic motion. In general, any motion that repeats itself is called periodic motion, or maybe even harmonic motion. But if we're dealing with simple harmonic motion, that's motion that follows along with this equation that we see on the screen here, which expresses the displacement of a particle from the origin as a function of time using the cosine function. Let's analyze that function a little bit more. Here are some of the important quantities that you see in that function. For starters, you notice that the function is for x of t, which means the displacement at a given time t. Some of the quantities that are important when something's in simple harmonic motion is the object's frequency, or how frequently it repeats its motion in a given time period. Quite often, we measure how many motions occur in one second. When that's the case, frequency is measured in hertz, or one over seconds. The period's a quantity we already know about and have used previously in mechanics. The period is the amount of time that it takes to complete one, com one, one motion, or one cycle. The period is the inverse of the frequency. So period, which uses a symbol capital T, is 1 over F and is measured in seconds. The next three quantities are quantities that appear in our equation. Amplitude, phase constant, and angular frequency. Amplitude is expressed by an x sub m in our equation, and it simply means the maximum position of our object that is experiencing simple harmonic motion. You get this amplitude, or maximum displacement, when your cosine function is equal to 1. You also see um, a phase constant. That's the phi that's in our equation here. This phase constant is used so that we can express our position as a function of time no matter where we start time t equals zero. Quite often our phase constant is equal to zero, but other times it's in other quantities. Uh, it's other values, I should say. It, another thing that's really important about the phase constant is that it must be measured in radians here. That means that you'll be having to have your calculator in radian mode as we're calculating the displacement of our object in simple harmonic motion. Lastly, the angular frequency, or omega, is used in our equation rather than plain old frequency. And the reason that's the case is because it's inside the cosine argument. So we need something that's in radians per second rather than hertz. The angular frequency can be related to the regular frequency by the fact that the angular frequency, or omega, is 2 pi times the frequency of our object. Again, angular frequency, just the phase constant, has units dealing with radians. Angular frequency is in radians per second, whereas phase constant is in radians. We'll take a look at using this equation with various examples of simple harmonic motion, as well as looking at how this equation can help us find the velocity and acceleration of an object that's experiencing simple harmonic motion.